Is masturbation ruining your muscle gains? A question every gym goers have in their mind. All right, let's start with the common myth. Masturbation lowers testosterone, which leads to less muscle growth. Some people believe that the more you masturbate, the more your testosterone drops. And as a result, you'll lose muscle or won't be able to build any. Sounds scary, right? Well, let's look at the science. Testosterone is a key hormone for muscle development. And a lot of people believe that any activity that lowers it, even temporarily, could harm your gains. But is that really true? There are a number of studies that have examined the relationship between ejaculation and testosterone levels. What they've found is that after ejaculation, testosterone may drop slightly for a very short period of time, sometimes as little as a few minutes or up to an hour. But the body is smart. It quickly readjusts and those levels return to normal. The body's fluctuations in testosterone after masturbation are minimal and short-lived. Your testosterone levels naturally rise and fall throughout the day due to various factors like sleep, stress, exercise, and even diet. So this small dip after masturbation is just one of many changes that happens and does not have any significant long-term effect. Now, some people also argue that frequent masturbation leads to lower overall testosterone levels, but again, science doesn't support that claim. Studies show that whether someone masturbates frequently or not at all, their baseline testosterone levels remain fairly constant. Your body maintains homeostasis. It finds a balance. So unless you're dealing with some other underlying health issues, masturbation isn't going to tank your testosterone in any meaningful way. Here's the thing, muscle growth is a long-term game, right? It's about consistency with your training, diet, rest, and recovery. As long as you're hitting the gym regularly, lifting progressively, and getting enough protein, you're going to see gains. A single act of masturbation, or even a few times a week, won't derail that progress. Now, let's talk about what can actually affect your muscle growth. It's not necessarily the act of masturbating, it's the habits that sometimes come with it. If you're spending all night watching adult content, staying up late, or neglecting your workouts because you're feeling drained, that can definitely impact your progress. Sleep and recovery are critical for muscle growth. So the issue isn't testosterone, it's more about whether your habits are throwing off your sleep schedule, focus, or motivation. Masturbation is a normal, healthy part of life for most people. If it's not interfering with your daily routine, your workouts, or your focus, it's not something to stress about when it comes to muscle growth. The key is balance. Focus on what actually matters for building muscle. Nutrition, training, recovery, and don't let internet myths hold you back. So what's the bottom line? Masturbation isn't the muscle killer it's often made out to be. The real factors that affect muscle growth are what you do in the gym, what you eat, and how well you recover. The next time someone tells you that you're losing gains because of it, hit them with the facts. That's it for today's video, guys. If you found this helpful, or if you've heard any other weird fitness myths that need busting, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future content. Stay strong, stay consistent, and keep pushing forward. See you next time.